Hey friends and welcome to today's talk. Today we will address the map kinase pathway, which involves RAF, MEG and ERG as some of the main proteins. They are also known under a different name. RAF, for example, is also known as the MEP kinase kinase kinase. MEG is known as the MEP kinase kinase. And ERG is literally the MEP kinase. The MEP kinase pathway will in the end lead to the transcription of genes involved in cell proliferation and cell survival. When out of control, the MEP kinase pathway can easily lead to cancer. So all three proteins mentioned here are kinases. What is a kinase? A kinase, to make it short, is an enzyme which can transfer a phosphate group. The kinase here will transfer a phosphate from a donor, which can be ATP for example, like here, and then it can phosphorylate an acceptor protein. But let's start at the beginning. How is this whole process activated? First, we need a stimulus. Growth factors here can bind to our receptor tyrosine kinases and the binding leads to dimerization. This dimer can then get transphosphorylated and this allows for the docking of proteins. These proteins here, GRB2 and SOS, can then lead to the activation of RAS. RAS has now bound GTP, which makes RAS active. And RAS activates a whole phosphorylation cascade. Here we see a scaffold protein in green. This scaffold protein will facilitate the phosphorylation cascade by bringing the proteins in closer proximity. So RAS will activate RAF, which we also know is the MEP kinase kinase kinase. So the MEP kinase 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 will phosphorylate the MEP kinase kinase now, which would be MEC. And MEC can then lead to the phosphorylation of ERG which is our MAP kinase. So we have a phosphorylation cascade. One of these proteins will phosphorylate the other one downstream. We can see that here again. RAF gets activated first. RAF then phosphorylates MAC and MAC phosphorylates ERG. And that activates ERG. ERG can now leave the complex and enter the nucleus to activate transcription factors. So let's have a closer look into the nucleus. ERG will now activate a transcription factor here. And this one will join to the DNA and promote the transcription of genes. This upregulation in transcription targets genes which are involved in cell proliferation and cell survival. So long story short, the MAP kinase pathway is a phosphorylation cascade which in the end leads to the activation of transcription factors to promote cell proliferation and cell survival. That was the overview about the MAP kinase pathway. I hope it was helpful for you. Otherwise, I'm out. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.